Good morning from the port of Civitavecchia. Today we are on our way to Rome. Yes. We have a port adventure today. We are doing the Imperial and Renaissance Rome with St. Peter's Square. So checking out the Trevia Fountain, Colosseum, Navona Square, and St. Peter's Square. So lots ahead today. Long bus ride there. So let's go meet up yes. with our tour group in Enchanted Garden. We gotta go. Okay, so we are back from our very long, hot day exploring Rome. Yes. And again, we did the Imperial and Renaissance Rome tour with St. Peter's Square, adult-only departure. Mm -hmm. Our tour, tour guide today, fantastic. Sabina. Sabina. She said it's like Sabrina without the R. Yes. She was very fun. Very personable. Very sarcastic. She was pretty sassy. She didn't want to use the Disney paddle because she said that she was the usual short Italian lady and needed something taller. Yes, so she had like so, a blue scarf on a like telescoping rod. Yeah, an extending pole to make her taller than she would have been if she had her arms straight up with the pole the whole time. Because she was my, pretty short. my height or shorter. And she was shorter than you. Yeah. So, and I mean, there are times that I'm in a crowd and I'm like, I can't see anything. I can't see anyone except the people right in front of me. So totally understood that. Mm -hmm. But she took us all over the city. We started with the Trevi Fountain and then saw the Colosseum and the Roman Forum on the way. And then took the bus over to Piazza Navona and had some free time and then went to St. Peter's Square yeah. on foot. And we passed a bridge that the name is escaping me now. Yeah, I can't think of it. And castle. Maybe you can put it in. I will, I'll put it down below what the name yeah. of the castle and bridge was that we saw. Yes. Really beautiful sights in Rome. Yes. Um, a lot of works, as Sabina put it, of like 
construction and prep for the Jubilee that is starting on Christmas Eve this year. Yes. For next year. It is a celebration that they do in Rome every 25 years. So lots of pilgrims supposed to be coming to Rome, but that meant that some things were blocked off or covered or under some sort of construction as right. they prep for that. So the Trevi Fountain, we got lucky. It was great. We also somehow managed to get front and center. So Trevi Fountain was one of my highlights of the day. Mm -hmm. The Coliseum was incredibly cool and incredibly hot and incredibly crowded. Yes. So, but again, really cool to see. How you put it though, the area around the Coliseum really felt like the Apple Tower. It did. It was just full of people trying to sell you the cheap souvenirs. Yeah, it's the trinkets. You. There was also a looked like a tween or teen walking around with no adults and just walking close to people. So I was kind of like kind of circling around pickpocket maybe. Yeah. We made it through the day just fine. Mm -hmm. Hopefully everyone else did as well. But we had lunch in Piazza Navona, but two out of the three fountains were surrounded by like one was like plywood the other two were just like fencing fencing of some sort but after lunch we came back and the fencing was gone on one of them so we were like wow we get the full experience yes so that was exciting we had a really nice lunch mm -hmm. tried some traditional roman pasta so yes. you tried the uh, cacio e pepe and i tried the amicicciana it was very good very good we also had bread the bread wasn't quite as good as the bread in Sorrento yesterday, but was still good. Mm -hmm. So, but it was nice to just sit down because it was packed everywhere. Mm -hmm. We got lucky and found a place and you know, I'm sure it was a touristy place, Yeah. but we still had a nice time. And I think my highlights for the day were probably... Trey Fountain and lunch? Yeah. Same. Yeah, we... Didn't we, really have any place in mind for lunch. We just stumbled upon it and then looked it up in, on Google as we were sitting down. And it was like, oh, this place has like four and a half stars with uh, almost 2,000 reviews. So, yeah. sure. But we ended the day in St. Peter's Square. No one in our group was able to go inside. Yes. W one group peeled off early because they had booked a tour of the um, Sistine Chapel. We were only supposed to be there for a half hour. We ended up having... An hour oh, and a half-ish like from the moment we were entered the square until the moment we had to be back not from when we were set free right but they bolted as soon as they could because they had booked an hour-long tour even though we were only supposed to be there for a half hour to try to go inside yeah and they said that, that the line to get in it took an hour to get to security and then the line zigzagged after that so they never actually got inside in that whole time we were there ryan our stateroom host just knocked on the door and he's been great so yay ryan yes but back to rome yes so i think where i left off was the um they didn't make it inside they did not make it inside zigzagged a lot after security so they never actually made it inside even, even though they took the full hour and a half ish yeah to try to make it inside we so, also saw a fight we did with people who were trying to sell things and i don't know they got into it we had a gelato. We didn't make any attempts to go inside the basilica. And we were told also that several things inside were blocked off Yes. in preparation for the Jubilee later this year already. A lot of the artwork and whatnot was being restored and cleaned up a little bit. So, so basically the guide was like, don't try to go in. One, you're not going to have time. And two, what you want to see isn't going to be available to be seen so spend your time doing other things yeah but then we walked back to the bus and took a 90 minute bus ride back here to the port to get back on the disney dream yes it was a nice day it was a hard day it was a long day very long it was similar i feel like the vibe was very similar to paris i think i thought i loved the trevi fountain mm -hmm. i thought it was absolutely beautiful I don't know, controversial opinion. It seemed like the architecture and stuff was a little a little more beautiful in Rome than what we saw in Paris. Oh, and yeah, I know I, agree. I know we didn't see everything in Paris because we were only in Paris proper for one day. But what we did see here I think 
kind of came out on top. But because it's like in Rome, you turn a turn the corner, and then like blocks away, you can just see some more like ruins, and then right. another corner. Oh, well, there's more ruins in the distance. Yes. So that was pretty cool. But I wasn't prepared for the intense big city vibes no. of Rome because it was similar to Paris. It was similar to New York. Just people getting in your face, trying to sell you things. Do this tour, do that, and it's like I'm on a tour. Can't you see my lantern and my little earpiece? But. I still had a wonderful time, much better vibes today with the group, mm -hmm. and just, it was a good day, and we have so much more to do. Yes. So, we're back on board. As soon as we came back, we saw Mickey in his French outfit, even though we're not going <laughs> to the French Riviera anymore on this cruise. He was in a little top hat. Yeah, apparently today is French day. Yep. So. Yay, Rome. <laughs> yes. But hoping to see some more characters this evening in their French outfits, have a lovely dinner at Animators. It's night two, so... The menu we are most excited for. Probably. And some activities that are very exciting. Yes. So lots of fun ahead, good food, good fun. So we gotta go. Indeed. So time to head to meet some more characters. Okay, so we are back from dinner this evening. Saw so lots of French characters. Yes, we saw Pluto. Mm -hmm. We saw Chippendale. We saw Donald. We also saw Daisy in her princess dress. We didn't stand in line to see Minnie because Minnie was in her princess dress as well. Yeah. And we've already seen Minnie in her princess dress before. On a previous sailing. On the honeymoon cruise on the fantasy. Yes. In 2022. But I think we got all of the French characters. Yes. Because we got Goofy after dinner. Yes. Um, but yeah. And they were very cute. It was weird since we're in Rome. Or just left Rome. But it was still cool and fun to see them. Since we were supposed to go to the French Riviera on the sailing. Right. But those darn whales, you gotta keep them safe. I guess when in Rome, dress like a French person. Yes. So, Donald looked hilarious. He did. I loved his little outfit. He was just dancing too. Yeah, Donald was a vibe and a half because he just was dancing between families and even with families. So having a great time in his little outfit. Yes. And dinner was lovely. We were animators this evening, so we are... This is the menu we prefer for animators. Yes. I do love this show aspect of animators mm -hmm. a lot more than the turtle talk one yes um but yeah the food was great appetizers were good as always um what did you think of the soup the broccoli cheddar it was a lot better than what we had in the wish but i don't think it was quite as creamy as what we had in the fantasy i would agree so it was good but it it's definitely the original recipe as yeah. the fantasy not whatever the wish is doing that yeah. was completely different the fantasy, it was exceptional. Yes. And this was, like, very good. Yes. So. Uh, but I was still happy to have it. Yeah. And then entree-wise, I tried the beef wellington today. I'm not a mushroom fan, but I figured, why not, when in Rome, try the beef wellington. It was good. But I think I like, personal preference, other entrees better for this evening. Maybe the um, shrimp pasta. My schnitzel, your, your was, schnitzel was great. Good, so. It was really good today. There was one piece of onion that was rock hard. But other than that, it was like 9.5 out of 10, including the onion. It was very, very good. I was happy girl. Yeah. And now I'm a sleepy girl. Yes. And the desserts were good as always. The celebration cake was better than the amaretto cheesecake. Because mm -hmm. that's what I had today. And the celebration cake was exceptional. And the amaretto cheesecake was very good. Yeah. Overall, a great dinner. Great meal at animators. And end of the night seeing Goofy. And then staggered our very full selves back to our stateroom. Yes. So, we have officially left the port of Civitavecchia. On our way to the port of Livorno. Mm -hmm. So... We have that to look forward to tomorrow. Yes. Another early morning, but a little bit later than the 
past couple days. It's the same as our first excursion. Yes. So Sorrento, Pompeii. 8 a.m. call time. Yes. But all aboard is not until 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Right. So I think a lot of folks have even further to go than we do. We're doing Cinque Terre. I think we've said that. Mm -hmm. It's a boat excursion, you know, motion sickness, sea bands. But hopefully I'll do okay and we'll have a great time because I desperately wanted to see Cinque Terre. Yes. Very excited for this tomorrow. So, just because it's so different. Yeah. I'll take the medicine, I'll wear the C bands. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I will say, overall, though, this sailing, I don't know if it's just we got lucky, but does not seem to be as rocky as some of the ones in the Caribbean that we've been on. Yeah. Caribbean slash Bahamas. There's some rumbling. It was rough when we left today. A little bit. And when we sat down for dinner, I said that it felt like being on a horse. It felt like we were going forward and back a little bit. Yeah, that has calmed yes. significantly. Yeah, since we got further away from land, things have calmed down a lot. So, like I said, I don't know if it's just this part of the world or if we just got really lucky, but it's been great so far. So... So now we gotta rest up, cause big day. Indeed. Big day. Big day tomorrow. So that will do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. See you real soon. Mm -hmm.